Good morning. It is 6.59 a.m. on Saturday, April 2nd, 2022. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I'm up too early. This is five more minutes. In hindsight, when scheduling a veterinarian appointment for Rocket's two-year checkup, I would not have chosen to make it at 8 a.m. on a Saturday. Because uh, although 8 a.m. is not exactly way earlier than I've been trying to be ready to do stuff, uh, generally, maybe it was a little bit when I've been working at home, but uh, uh, my body's just really resenting it this morning. You know, I'm trying to get some caffeine in me. I think part of it is that I had my window open the last couple of nights, but with the changing season, I think I got a little bit of uh, that old allergy dust drifting in and just a lot of sinus congestion as a result is not a um, great feeling. <laughs> Sorry, I keep making mouth noises there. Um, yeah, so, uh, Rocket's got, got to go in and get his, um, vaccinations updated and, uh, just check up generally and, uh, that's going to happen in a little bit here. Um, whereas I feel like I need to go back to bed, <laughs> um, you know, I, I don't tend to have chronic allergies in the sense that I need to deal with them for long periods of time, I tend to get them just, you know, like every so, every so often I'll have a couple of days where it's bad. And I, I don't know what that means necessarily, but uh, just not feeling quite myself, at least so far this morning. Perhaps if I wake up a little further, I will. So, one of the podcasts that I've been listening to is called Just King Things, and they are reading and discussing Stephen King's work in chronological order. And I've mentioned this podcast before, although it's been a little while, because I've been making my way slowly through it, partly because uh, for the things that I haven't read, most of them, I am, I'm getting the audiobook for the actual book before I listen to the associated episode. And I've been enjoying that process so far and uh, definitely uh, discovered a few that, uh, of King's uh, early work that I hadn't been familiar with. When I say most of them, I, I've skipped a couple. I didn't read Dance Macabre, which, which is a nonfiction about horror, partly because the hosts kind of implied it was pretty non-essential. And there was also one of the Richard Bachman books called Rage that was uh, another one that they basically said, mm, you, don't, you don't need to <laughs> read that one. Uh, but the reason I bring it up is just because the next episode for which I just you know listened to the audiobook is The Gunslinger, which is book one of the Dark Tower series. And this is definitely one that I had read before, in fact, more than once. And uh, I, I chose to go ahead and listen, you know, to the audiobook again. And, you know, boy, I like it. You know, having been following this podcast and therefore listening to these very two, these two very smart uh, guys who seem to have a lot of education and background on literature and, uh, you know, like storytelling and all of that sort of thing, and who are fans, though, uh, fans of Stephen King that are very willing to call him out on some of his bullshit, of which there is plenty to be found, for sure, of course, and especially also things that, you know, may have been seen as mostly okay at the time they were written, but looking back, we're like, you know, and so it's been interesting going through that process. And um, and so being attuned to that, there are certainly pieces of this where it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, at the same time, 
it was the Dark Tower series that introduced me to Stephen King way back when I was in high school and uh, checking the books out from the library and in particular the ones that they had at the school library were the ones with these big colorful illustrations in them um, which you know obviously is not necessary for uh, a novel to have illustrations but these were really nice and if you haven't seen them you could look them up. They're, they're good illustrations and they actually added a lot to the presentation of the book but having even at that time an association that like Stephen King writes horror right and feeling at the time like I'm a sci-fi nerd I don't read horror which is you know stupid high schoolers junior high thing to say right but the epic dark fantasy slash sci-fi slash horror that the Dark Tower series represents really just scratched an itch in my adolescent brain and uh, uh, I've read the whole series over the time and uh, and I think it has its highs and lows of course but uh, I really do love it and so it was fun to revisit it and I'm looking forward to listening to the podcast episode about it so I thought I'd talk about that today and in the meantime I'm going to try to get some more caffeine before I take Rocket to the vet and then I'll talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes.